And then, Amanda, the scene is now cleared, but earlier this morning, investigators were here collecting evidence at the home. Neighbors telling me they had their suspicions about the house. To have the presence of the police here a lot and at all hours of the night, um, sometimes during the day, it is a little unnerving. Rosemary Toll has lived on Pondside Lane for several years now, and just recently she and other neighbors have noticed a lot of police activity at this home, in addition to suspicious people lingering in the driveway. State police say 76-year-old Robert Yakabuchi lived inside. He was found dead Monday evening when they conducted a welfare check shortly before 7.30 p.m. Toll says she used to greet him back in the days before his personality changed. He went from being sociable to isolating himself. Friendly, wave when you go by. Um, used to have social gatherings down in the cul-de-sac. Toll added Yakabuchi formerly worked at Sikorsky Aircraft and owned his own power washing company. A neighbor's family member who does not want to be identified telling Fox 61 a loud car was heard speeding away Monday morning. Another neighbor also telling Fox 61 he saw a woman enter the home through the back door on Sunday. There would just be people who seemed out of place uh, and just kind of sit outside and, and like I was saying, I. I assumed some kind of nefarious stuff. State police say Yakabuchi's car was missing from his driveway and was later found in New Britain Monday. Today, troopers arrested two people connected to Yakabuchi's death. 42-year-old Franklin Cruz and 36-year-old Madeline Dickey, both from New Britain. They have been charged with robbery and murder. Court records for both suspects show extensive criminal records, ranging from threatening in the second degree to risk of injury to child and identity theft. And state police say they do expect more arrests to be made and the suspects may be arraigned tomorrow morning. I'm live in Rocky Hill, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.